There we go. There we go. Okay. It is summertime. Summer. Oh, it is so humid today. It is definitely summertime. And it we is. are in another one of our downtown historic neighborhoods. And I need to slow down. But we're on the golf cart. So last time we got comments about me driving too fast. Oh, I, I know. Well, but anyway, anyway. But this is Featherston Heights. And this neighborhood dates back to the um, probably 30s, 40s, 50s timeline. Mm -hmm. And then you've got some ranch plans, which those are very popular because those were all built in the 50s and 60s, and they are the best houses to try to redo because they're all in a crawl space. You can go in and add electrical and plumbing, and you can tear out walls, and you can paint some paneling, and just make it a jewel. That's one of the things I really love about this neighborhood is a lot of people have gone in and refurbished the older houses, but then occasionally you see one like on our left and on our right, which are newer homes yeah, that have been new. built in here. So, so one of these, um, a lot of people will, um, cause the lots were a little bit larger. Uh huh. So some of these are um, redevelopment projects. So you may have someone come in and buy a fifties ranch that's got an extra lot with it. So okay. they will build a new construction. So you'll see a mix of new construction and you'll see like the farm style look or the cottage craftsman style that they've turned these into. And all it takes really is just painting some brick and adding some shutters. Yes. <clears throat> but I have met a lot of new people that have moved into this neighborhood and it's kind of a, I look at it and feel like if you ever go into Atlanta to some of the older neighborhoods, like a Piedmont Park kind of setting with all the or trees. Or right around Ansley Country Club. <clears throat> yep. Mm -hmm. So these are kind of similar. So I think when people are wanting to move to a slower pace, which they call noon in a slower pace here, um, <clears throat> they seek out these houses to find and redo. So. And a lot of these houses, um, of course, we would love for people to list, but a lot of times <laughs> these houses get sold word of mouth, too. And so yeah. it's a lot about who you know right. to find a home down here. And that, I mean, that's why it's the beauty of having a local real estate agent that stays tuned in with the neighborhoods. Because I've had agents from Atlanta that are not in our market that yep. they just say, how do we get on that list? So perception <laughs> in Buckhead is that there's a list in Noonan of houses that never get listed and sometimes that's the case so you just have to find someone that's in the know and if you like for me if i have some of my friends that have moved here from atlanta if they tell me they have friends looking the minute that i know that something's coming on the market is when i'm like okay we need to look at this so that's kind of how this neighborhood is but yeah there's split levels in here i sold a house in here that actually look like the Brady Bunch house. Uh huh. A lot of people may or may not know what that is, but um, oh, everybody still. I think a lot of people still know who the Brady Bunch. But it Bunch had are. Um, it had a really cool um, like a bomb shelter in it. <laughs> <laughs> so there's a lot of little hidden treasures in these houses too. I actually sold one of the first houses I sold was down around the corner in here, which actually was a foreclosure, which is kind of unheard of, but this was yeah. like 2012, right. 2013 range. Yeah. And um, it was a foreclosure that they were able to snatch up. And so, but this is um, Brookside Drive. We have to stay on, cause we're gonna go, we're gonna, when we go out of here and go up, we're gonna go up Thrill Hill. Thrill Hill? Yeah. We gotta stay on long enough So we're gonna stay long, a long <laughs> time, cause a lot, a lot of my local friends and people that we all grew up here. Everybody, we're going to go up Thrill Hill, but we all love going down Thrill Hill. Why did they call it? I mean, I'm assuming it's a pretty big hill. But it's a big why? hill, so you got at the top of the hill, and you, you wanted to see how fast you could go coming down. So you get a running, yeah. like a driving start. I shouldn't <laughs> say running, because we weren't on foot. And of course, we obviously, we didn't have golf carts back then. Right. Yeah. But anyway, we just, we loved the thrill of Thrill Hill. The thrill of Thrill Hill. <laughs> I'd like to know who named it that, but anyway. <laughs> the thing, the other thing that's really beautiful about this neighborhood is the trees. And it's mm -hmm. just very private. For being downtown, you don't feel like it's that way. Well, and another draw to this, and you know, some people love it. So I think I'm seeing more people that love it. There's no covenants. Yes. So, yes. I mean, I think everyone truly takes care of their properties. But a lot of times, if you want to bring your boat home for the weekend and I have to take it to storage, this is the neighborhood for you. Mm -hmm. Because it's definitely one of those that's you know, just a, kind of a hidden gem. But just, um, it's not, I mean, I love our new construction, but I also love the detail and the different eras of building and, you know, 
have people have remodeled and redone a lot of the stuff so in most of these houses we haven't talked about values but a lot of them you see them start in the 300s maybe but they're definitely going up from there depending on the size of the house yeah i think this neighborhood from what i can tell is really gone up in value because people want to be it's still close enough to downtown noonan that is pedestrian friendly enough for people that like to get extra steps or walk or whatever but we or are if you coming want to take your golf cart i know i don't know we are coming up on thrill hill so <laughs> you can you can see thrill hill it's dixon street so this takes you right over to elm street school okay and this is kind of steep yeah it it's a lot more <laughs> fun coming down it it'll have to be another adventure We'll have to do that another time. Let's yeah. just see if we can get up it. Yeah, up through <laughs> hell. We did great. We're not pulling a lot of people. If we had more people on here, we might not be able to get up it. That's true. That definitely does make a difference. Yeah. But that was the Featherston House. Like, this is Elm Street. So this goes into Elm Street School. And you can see, um, I think there's probably some rentals in here, but a lot of people are starting to say, you know, it's a seller's market and I've had this rental house and it's been great, but I've yes. got all this equity in here and we need to beautify the neighborhood a little more. And so they're starting to kind of sell these. And you know, a lot of them, I've seen them move, but I haven't seen them listed, so. Right. But one, one more little piece of information. Yes. <laughs> so across from Elm Street School, was one of our hangouts because my husband and his friend Bob Kelly who just got back from the second senior trip they lived here in one of the duplexes up here so we yeah. have lots of stories to tell in this little area and there's still rentals in this particular area but the the cream color the one right here yes. they lived to the one on the left oh, and wow. it has I bet it hasn't changed much at all but yeah we did a lot of hanging out there so anyway all right well stay tuned we will be in another local noonan neighborhood soon thanks thanks go pro stop recording